Everybody, Rick again here with another model review. This is on the AFE Club Weasel or Weisel, if you pronounce it in German, one toe. So let's take a look at the kit. The uh, AFE kit itself is a pretty small, simple little kit, but it has a lot of nice details. The uh, plastic itself is really well detailed. Lots of sprue pieces. I did remove it from the plastic it came in so you could see the parts. But as you can see in the interior part components, really good detail. And a really delicate, um, well designed. The, uh, all the bogey wheels, etc. Kind of get an idea here of how crisp they are. They have all the little fine details within that drive sprocket there. And then all the different components there within that part. You have the tow missile. Now the kit itself comes with a couple options. You have the mount where you can have it sitting off the vehicle on the ground next to it. Or you can actually mount it on the vehicle. And there's the uh, mounting for mounting it on the ground next to. And you see more of the components, the tools the uh, back panel and some of the little latches they have on the sides to tie things down with. The uh, lower chassis is one unit. Um, all the uh, mounts for the bogey wheels are already pre-installed and there's just some sprue pieces you have to remove. And that's good the way they did that because in shipping it doesn't get all distorted and messed up. The tracks themselves are uh, plastic. Um, Pretty stiff, but they're uh, reliable. They glue together well. The two. Then you have the uh, the decals it comes with. You can do you know, different versions. Obviously, they have the you can see the UN um, or standard German. The PE sheet. Um, I'll just give one piece of advice right up front. AFE, this is very fragile. It's real hard metal, so you really only have one bend you can do with it. So when you go to bend it, don't try to adjust your bend after you do it. Just You have to live with it because it'll crack every time. So looking at the instructions, they've got your German, it's like Japanese, Chinese, and I believe French. Um... And then you have German on the back. Um, pretty straightforward instructions. You start with your standard uh, building components. They're very well laid out. Everything's pretty straightforward. No confusion I found in building the model. The neat thing about this kit is, is all the interiors within it. So you can do it open hatches um, and then see the inside. Um, a couple of products out there make uh, the soldiers that go into it. It's real nice if you want to go that route. Um, let's see. All the different pieces they have the two extra missiles that go inside and the one on the back as you go through the different building components they give you some ideas of what you're doing here etc all the different pieces the tow missile the siding system different racks the exhaust system these are the p parts i'm talking about here like i said once again Look at what you're doing, figure out how it goes on, um, and really make sure you know how you're going to bend it before you go to bend it. Because um, if you do it wrong, you're going to regret it. So when you go to build a toe, you have a couple options. You can either build the toe with a rocket in or not with a rocket. It's up to you, however you want to set it up. Here, as I said, you can build it with it sitting on the ground next to the vehicle, or you can have it mounted on the vehicle. So when you go to do this component here, you've got these rubber flaps that fit on the end here. These do not go well. Um, when you go to glue them with a crazy glue or some other type of product, um, you're going to fight with them because there's a little bend on the end. That it's a flat piece of rubber. And then right here on the inside of the fender, it's got to bend down. So it, you have to glue this part probably and then let it dry and then come back and get the other corner glued in to make it fit right. Um, and if it goes well for you, you're better than me. Yeah, like I said, you get down to here. Here's the rocket being, uh, the tote being mounted on the vehicle itself. Different tools, etc. 
they put, they got your uh, painting patterns here. Here's your your camel pattern you have to paint. Uh, once again, I learned this the hard way when I initially started building a lot of German vehicles. Their patterns are very specific, so what they show here is what you need to do on the vehicle to make it accurate if you want to. So once you've sat down and built the model, this is what you'll end up with if everything went well. Um, like I said, it's a real sharp looking little kit, comes together nicely. A lot of really nice detail in this area. You've got the little tie down things I had talked about. Uh, your different tow missiles on the back. And the hatch is open. If you look on the inside, you can kind of make it out inside of there. You kind of see the interior. Different components. So the back, you get your fuel hatches, uh, you're obviously your follow me thing, your different markers, your license plate. Uh, so here you're going to see, here's the metal pieces. Now this is the first one I built. Um, it didn't go as well as I'd like, so when I warned you about building this, it looks sharp, but make sure you build it right or you're going to end up with the cracking and everything else. Um, when I build the second one, I'll be better informed as to go about it. Hopefully you don't make the same mistakes I made. Yeah. Like I said, lots of nice detail, the little hatches, uh, tie downs, etc. Once again, looking on the inside, try and get a picture of it in there. So, and then these are the little rubber parts I talked about. So anyway, the kit goes together really nice. Um, I enjoyed building it. Um, I built, painted it, or primed it with uh, Tamiya surface primer in fine. This works really well. Uh, very forgiving when you paint it. Uh, to get it primed up and ready to go. And then I use uh, Tamiya's acrylic uh, NATO green, NATO black, and NATO brown. <clears throat> Those colors you know, they're best suited to the vehicle. Um, I use a little bit of a different shade of the interior green um, to get the uh, hatches on the inside to be the off green they are. Uh, it works out real well. And then I put metal antennas on because I have a bad habit of breaking them off. Um, anyway, like I said, the vehicle goes together nice. It's a real sharp little fun one to build. Uh, a lot more complex than you think it is, but it does go together really well. Everything's very well laid out. Um, and once it's finished, it's a real sharp vehicle. Anyway, that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, look forward to seeing you on my next one. Bye.